All right, so if you've been in the ball python game for a while, you know that there is a dizzying array of ball python morphs on the scene today. As a matter of fact, there's over 300 base morphs. And when I'm talking morph, I'm talking about something like Bobby here. He's a bamboo ball python, and if you breed it with anything else, half the babies will come out with this color and pattern that we call a bamboo. And as breeders, we're always almost, I guess you could call us like artists, we're always trying to mix stuff together to see what we can get, you know, multiple genes on top of each other to see what we can paint the canvas with, what kind of a paint job we can make on the snake. And if you think about, you know, there's 300 genes that are available as artists to us, there's actually millions and millions of combinations. And one of those combinations you may not be familiar with, it produces a completely silver snake. You may have not seen this snake before. It looks like it's made of of metal it's pretty incredible and it actually has a nickname we call it the silver bullet and it's it's a pretty interesting I'd say it's pretty it's not very mainstream I've seen quite a few people posting them on morph market and on the internet but at the reptile shows here in Colorado I don't really see a lot of silver bullets it's I'd say it's a little bit tricky to make because the gene that makes up the silver bullet is pastel and super cinnamon. So the super cinnamon pastel makes the silver bullet. And the interesting thing is <laughs> I've been reading up a little bit about super cinnamons and a lot of people that actually have produced super cinnamons it produces a darker snake and they say typically they're a little bit more aggressive, a little bit nippy, uh, which is kind of interesting. And I, I'm not sure if I can really say which ones are more aggressive in my collection. I think it really depends on the age of the snake. If, if a snake gets to, you know, where it's eating like between six and 10 rodents, it, it usually gets more aggressive until it kind of builds a little more confidence in me and the people and the environment and everything. When you, when you hatch out a snake, it, it just doesn't really know what's going on and it's snapping at everything and it's just gobbling up the rats at first and it gets you know six or seven rats into it and I'm not really sure the whole aggression thing is linked to the super cinnamon but some people say that it is which is kind of interesting the other interesting thing about the silver bullet is I was actually looking on the internet I pulled up a bunch of pictures I'm going to show you here in a minute but it's really polymorphic which means uh, there's some that look really really super silver and there's some that look almost black really dark and it seems like most of them have it almost looks like a paradoxing of course a paradoxing is not you know if it's if it's really a paradox it's essentially what that is is like a black splotch on the snake that's not genetic not carried to the offspring and this almost seems like it's a genetically transferred paradoxing within the silver bullet. I've seen a lot of silver bullets and I'd say maybe half of them, three quarters of them have a lot of paradoxing on them. So something about the combination I think is probably the first time I've really ever seen a genetically transferred paradox within ball pythons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my computer and let's check out some silver bullets. All right so if you've never seen a silver bullet this is going to blow you away. I have never really seen anything so intense is this particular example of the silver bullet it really does look silver and you can see over here right here it has some paradoxing so that is kind of I'd say just a little bit of black here you see down on the bottom of the snake here there's a little paradoxing and it's it's kind of when we talk about paradox it's kind of, in this case, it's the only example I've ever seen of a genetically transferred, but it's totally unpredictable as far as how much black you see and where you see it on the snake. I've seen kind of blotches all over some of these snakes. And the interesting thing is, I actually was reading an article years ago when I first started in ball pythons about the atomic gene, and the atomic is supposedly a recessive paradox, but I don't know if it's ever been proved. It's, it's kind of interesting. I, I heard it when I first started and I haven't really heard about it since. So this one actually sold for $550, so pretty good pricing and so last fall looks like, so not too long ago. So this is what it looks like and this one is actually uh, Crash Site Reptiles produced this one which is pretty cool. And if we look over here at some more examples. 
So if you take a look at this one, it doesn't really look as impressive as the other silver bullet. You know, sometimes it could be the lighting and the camera and, uh, you know, the contrast on the snake. But, but some of these look really intense. Some of them kind of look dirty and some of them look really dark. So this is kind of interesting. This is actually... Original Sin Serpents. <laughs> That's the first time I actually, I just randomly pulled this up on, uh, on, this is actually on Morph Market over here. And this is, you know, there's like tens of thousands of ball pythons for sale in here. You could find anything on here. I just spent hours and hours just looking through Morph Market on all the snakes. So this, this is a really interesting example. Look at this one. As it grows up and matures, this particular example really kind of got a bunch of, uh, kind of like, almost looks like calico in the sides, which is really interesting. It has kind of like a, a calico pattern to it. It's really, I'd say not really impressive compared to some of some of the other ones I've seen, and I'm not sure if it's if it's with with age or if it's with the specific lines of you know the pastel and the super cinnamon or if it's just kind of you know polymorphic like the bamboos you'll, you'll hatch out 100 bamboos and all of them will be like snowflakes <laughs> they'll be completely different in the patterns and some of them will kind of surprise you take a look at this one this one this one is pretty uh, pretty amazing because it's it's almost a completely black snake which is Kind of unexpected for a silver bullet but the interesting thing is you see the paradox all through it looks like someone just kind of you know took a little water and splashed it on the snake to get the paradoxing which is which is kind of interesting so if you take a look at some of these i would say this one is probably probably bad exposure on this one <laughs> as far as you know really getting an idea of what it's supposed to look like i would say you know this I would, you know, it would have been better if they, they would have got a better picture of this zoomed in a little bit. But it looks like right here there is some paradoxing again on this snake, which is kind of interesting. This one looks really interesting too. So this one almost looks like granite. It's interesting they put it on kind of a stone. I would have actually put it on like a black background to really make it pop. And I'm not really criticizing the, the, the photos, uh, but uh, you know, a little bit better a contrast and uh, get a little closer to the snake and I think you can see it a little better. It's kind of tough on these, but this one, I don't know, out of all the silver bullets, I think I really like this one the best. It almost looks like it's made of stone, which is really impressive. It's really cool. And it seems like one silver bullet is not like the other silver bullets. You can get one and it looks totally different than the other one which is interesting and take a look at this one this one is just kind of you know kind of a mix between all the ones that we have seen it's kind of you know it's it's it almost looks like a little marbly a little silvery lots of paradoxing it's really quite unexpected i'd say for a silver bullet and then if you come over here to world of ball pythons which is another site uh there's actually 16 pictures on here so a uh, world of ball pythons People upload their pictures for a certain combination. You can actually be the world's first on World of Ball Pythons, and you can, you can claim the world's first combos. And this is kind of where you can do it. This is probably the most impressive that I've seen as far as being kind of a silver looking, uh, with with not really a lot of paradoxing. I think this is probably where I got the name Silver Bullet from, from certain examples of this combination that really look metallic. But if we kind of scroll through these, you can see, you know, some of them are really impressive like this one. Some of them are really quite different. It's pretty amazing. This one is has a lot more, Paradoxing through it, a lot of white down the sides, which is interesting here. This one is interesting as well. It has quite a few paradoxing little splotches all over. And I, you know, I think it really depends on what you really like in the silver bullet. So you can actually pick up different examples of the silver bullet. And the more I look through these, the more I think just the straight silver with no spots is really probably the most impressive. Now that you take a look at this one, it almost looks, this one looks really interesting. <clears throat> it looks really iridescent, kind of, kind of really, really interesting, almost like pearly. It's, it's different than all the other ones. It's 
got a different texture to it. <laughs> and take a look at this one. This is a really big silver bullet. That thing is huge. It looks like it's, it's full of eggs is really what it looks like. And it's really browned out compared to the other ones, which is pretty impressive. And this one's another pearly one. <clears throat> and just kind of scroll through some of these examples of the silver bullet. You can see it's it's quite interesting, all the different ones. And there you go, there is the the uh, typical stance for a silver bullet. I don't know if they're if they're all really snappy, but I've heard they can tend to be a little more aggressive. Of course, hatchlings, you get hatchlings, and hatchlings are usually a little bit more snippy when they're smaller. So this is kind of interesting. This almost looks like it has slightly bigger eyes, maybe a little bit bug-eyed on this one, which is kind of interesting. I've actually heard, you know, some people say the Super Cinnamon has kind of bug eyes, but as far as what I'm seeing, I'm not seeing a whole lot of it on a lot of these. I think that's the first one I've seen with the bug eyes. So that is pretty impressive, I think. You know, I think this one, actually, I think the very first one we looked at, the one over here, this is my favorite one. That is a stunner out of all of them. If I was to buy Silver Bullet, it would definitely be that one. So believe it or not, when I was putting this video together, I was actually thinking, yeah, I'm going to make a video on the Silver Bullet. And I started thinking, wait a minute. I don't know what jeans actually make up the silver bullet. And remember, it's a pastel with a super cinnamon. The funny thing is, is after you're in the ball python game for a while, you start hearing all these terms like gray matter, urban camo, the dreamsicle ball python, the silver bullet, and you don't really realize what's in those snakes, but you hear the terms over and over, you see people selling them, breeding them, making those combos. So it's pretty interesting to actually dig into one figure out the genes and kind of see the slight subtleties between the different versions of the combo. Some, sometimes you get snakes that, you know, like uh, blue-eyed leucistic is always pretty much the same. And then you get something like the silver bullet where there's a huge variability between different snakes. So one person has a silver bullet could look completely different than someone else's silver bullet. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.